planning on doing some backpacking and hiking in the Grand Staircase for a few days. It's not really the kind of rain that I expect to cause big flash floods. This is a flash flood right behind me. I'll take the advice that I know to give and I'll just hold out for a day. You know, normally this is completely dry. Everything behind me is normally bone dry. I can't go into the canyon tomorrow. It's a bummer. That is where the gulch is. You can see the shadows out there. And that's where I'm heading. You're like summer in the shade, like a sip of lemonade. And I love the taste. Oh, I love the taste. You're the only song but sing. Like a lullaby of spring in the morning rain, in the morning rain. I'm gonna give you all my love. Wildflower, give you every minute of every hour. Dancing the wind, you leave it whispering. I'm gonna give. I'll go your way, yeah, I'll go your way Through your heart and open mind Color just outside the lines It's the way you made Darling, don't you change Spring water flowing through redstone is a sacred gift Hanging gardens burst out of sandstone walls Ferns and delicate wildflowers in the third driest state in this country are thriving in subterranean canyons. These deep cuts are homes to coyotes, turkeys, mountain lions, desert bighorn sheep, canyon wrens, ravens, toads, and whatever spirits still walk here. Utah's canyon ecosystems are so delicate, you get the opportunity to preserve them by carrying out your own poop. Human waste takes seven to eight years to biodegrade in the desert if it doesn't contaminate the water sources first. The infamous young Everett Roos disappeared, leaving the inscription Nemo, 1934, etched in the wall of a canyon near this one. Nemo means nobody in Greek. In Utah's serpentine canyons, I certainly embrace the notion. In the desert, you can't remember your name Cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain La 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 This may be a place to be nobody, but the paradox of canyon country is that every being, living and non-living, is a somebody with a purpose. Each slab of sandstone crumbles back into sand and provides homes for lizards, who provide meals for raptors. Seeps and springs gushing out of vertical walls provide water for deer, who provide a meal for a mountain lion and her cubs. These are what Robin Wall Kimmerer refers to as a relationship of reciprocity, a gift-giving culture. I may be nobody, but my gifts to this place still matter. Gratitude, respect, and God damn it, carrying out my own poop. <laughs> oh, feels so good. I'm gonna give you oh.
on the caves of unimaginable sincerity and beauty. By chance, they stumbled upon the place where all good souls come to rest. <laughs>